just wanted to show you guys this little girl that stumbled up on my property today. She's cute. But she did, got a collar on her with uh, her owner's phone number. So I gave it a call, and she's been missing since Monday. Today is Saturday. So she's been out for nearly a week. And during that time, I mean, it's been raining off and on with cold nights. And in one of the nights, it, it completely downpoured with high winds. So she's probably been through a lot in that time. I could tell because as soon as I stop doing something, she lays down to, to rest. So she's she's very, very tired. Gave her a bowl of water and she guzzled it down. So she's probably dehydrated too and looks pretty skinny. Probably lost a few pounds over over the time and, and I could feel a few ticks on her too. So yeah, she's been through a lot and it could have been worse. I mean, she could have succumbed to the elements out here or there there's dangerous animals too. Uh, the other day I saw a couple of large dogs came up here that I, I ran off because they uh, their behavior made me feel like they may have even possibly attacked if, if I wasn't careful with them. So you get that a lot out here in the mountains where, where people's dogs would just run around and chase deer primarily. But uh, who, who knows if they got a hold of her. I mean, she's relatively small. She's probably only about 45, 50 pounds. So uh, two large dogs like that could have, could have really hurt her or, uh, who knows, maybe she did run into him and she's pregnant now. So keep your dogs on a leash, guys. Uh, take care of them. Could have been much worse for her. And, uh, you know, even a lot of uh, other people out here, if, if she was found near somebody's chickens, they might have just shot her. So I, I guess it'll turn out okay. She's, you know... Her, her owner's about an hour away shopping, so he said when he gets back into town, he'll give me a ring, and and uh, we'll meet up and get her back home. But she's a good girl. She's scared. I mean, she's shaking because obviously she's been through a lot, probably been cold and tired. She won't go in the cabin. I've tried to get her in there. She's just too afraid to. But I gave her a bunch of water. She rehydrated, and I'm trying to feed her, but she won't take any food from me. So we'll see. She's a cute little girl though. And friendly. She's just tired and been through a lot. You're a good girl, aren't you? So we'll see. Get her back home in a about 30 minutes here and hopefully she recovers nicely. Take care of your dogs, guys. He just picked her up and I immediately regretted calling him because she wasn't excited to see him at all. Uh, he didn't seem to be phased by it either. Uh, that's that's strange because anytime I've ever seen anyone separated from their dog, the reunion is always an, an emotional thing. Um, he just got her and took her. Did, didn't even put her in the, the cabin of his truck. She went into a crate in the back. And I made the comment that, you know, we've had some bad weather the last few nights and she probably had it rough. And he's like, eh. hunting dogs are used to being out in that all the time anyways. And uh, he's, you know, said they usually come back after a night or two. So obviously this is something that his dog's just uh, not a big deal when they disappear. And, you know, I don't hold it against people hunting with their dogs. I think that's a great thing, you know, to, to, to spend an activity with your dog. But then when you get home, there's no reason you can't treat them like you care about them. Uh, it it kind of explains why she didn't want to go in the cabin for me. She's probably never been inside a house. And uh, I don't know. I guess in hindsight, maybe I should have just thrown the collar away with his phone number on it and uh, 
and just took care of her myself, but how was I to know? So it just, I consider not even adding this on to here, you know, just, just letting it end with, oh, you know, happy story, dog got reunited with its owner, everybody likes a happy ending. But this just left a bad taste in my mouth. I didn't feel like, to him, it, it was, she was not his pet. She was just a tool, and uh, I don't know. I thought I was helping her out, and, and now I just feel like shit. So did I do the wrong thing? Every day that goes by, my, my faith in humanity just dwindles a little bit more.